Welcome fellow adventurers. If you think you've seen all the Central Coast of California has to offer, for today our production crew will blaze a trail across the Central Coast in search of the long lost treasures and excitement. If your spirit longs for fun and fine dining, then strap yourself in for today you're invited to come along as we rediscover Old Town Orchid. Hi, welcome to Central Coast Now. Today, Annika and I are going to take you to rediscover Old Town Orchid. It's a small town community built in the early 1900s and over the last few years has really made a name for itself. Just located southwest of Santa Maria, so come along and join us. Okay, so I am here with Tim at Rooney's in Old Orchid, and I'm very excited to be here. As Tim knows, I've been trying to get him on TV for quite some time, because as far as I'm concerned, you really can't appreciate Rooney's and all, it's, all it has here to offer unless you're actually here and you get to experience for it for yourself. So I encourage everybody to come out, and we're gonna kinda of talk a little bit about Rooney's. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about Rooney's, the history of Rooney's, and kinda of how you started. Well, great to have you back. Thank you. Great to see you again. Uh, we started oh, several years ago. Uh, we we're into the craft beer scene, the micro beers. Right. So we really started with the idea of being a brew pub. Nice. And we have a brewery in the back. I'm sure we'll show you that in a little bit. Perfect. And then out of that dream, there was really nothing else in this area like an Irish bar, nope. an Irish pub. Nope. So we decided to incorporate the brew pub into the Irish theme. We're Irish. We've been right. to Ireland, been to a lot of um, Irish pubs. Yep. So the idea kind of grew from there. And it's and it's amazing. Now, talk a little bit about, because when you walk into Rooney's, I mean, you can't help but notice um, the architect and everything that's gone into this. I mean, the intricate details and that kind of thing. I mean, there had to have been some thought that went into that. Well, we've been to several Irish pubs. We've actually been to Ireland. Um, we took a lot of the ideas that we saw in Ireland, the best things we saw, and brought them back here to incorporate them into a pub that would actually be a California feel as well. Right. So it's an Irish pub with a lot of Irish influence, but again, it's got a banquet room, you know, for, for parties. Uh, we just brought back whatever we like, we brought back. Very good, very good. So it has a little bit of everything that was really great that you experienced for yourself. Correct. Perfect. Well, Tim's going to take us on a little tour, so be sure to stay with us. We're going to check out the bar. We're going to check out some great food. We're going to check out the seating, the patio area, and of course the brewery. So um, stay tuned. We have several different tucked away dining areas. We have our main dining room out of here in the bar. We have a private banquet room, which is our overflow dining. We have the snug area that sits about 25. But most people prefer to be sitting amongst the bar. It's the most enjoyable. We have a raised stage area where in the daytime it's a dining area. In the evening it becomes our stage for nightly entertainment on Friday, Saturday nights. This is our shepherd's pie. We call it our long lost shepherd's pie because it's nothing like you get in Ireland. It's our most popular dish. It's a beef short rib that is marinated in Guinness for 24 hours and then braised, finished in the oven over a bed of uh, potatoes and vegetables. Wow, so what do you have here for me? This is our house sampler. Okay. It's a sample of all the beers that we make here on the in-house oh. at our brewery right in the back. And tell me a little bit about um, what you have here. We have a Pilsner that we made for the Oktoberfest. Our blonde, amber ale, red ale, our two-year anniversary ale, which is pretty good. Yeah. And our uh, house porter. There's, and and how many ounces in it is in each one each of these? Each one's three and a half ounces. Three and a half ounces. Okay. And tell me, which one would you say is the most popular? Probably the stronger beers. Really? Here okay. Are, are most popular. Okay. The four we keep on tap all the time are IPA, the blonde, uh -huh. uh, the Pilsner, and the red, and then we kind of rotate them around. Okay. Well, I'm going to get started. Enjoy. Thanks. Very good. I really like that one. I've actually had it before at <laughs> Oktoberfest, so I cheated. <laughs> the 
next dish is our corned beef and cabbage. Every Irish pub has to do a great corned beef. Our corned beef is marinated in beer and spices for 24 hours and then finished in the oven over fresh potatoes, carrots, and cabbage. So I'm here and I'm so excited to be here with Chef Heather here at Rooney's and she's fairly new to Rooney's and I thought it would be a good idea to tell your story to our viewers and why you chose Rooney's. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be at Rooney's. It's, it's kind of a dream for me. After spending all of these years doing fine dining and white tablecloth right. kind of food, I decided to stop taking myself so seriously. I, I love beer, what can I say? I love uh, fun bar food and this is a great opportunity for me to just really kind of I don't know, kick back my heels and relax and just uh, yeah. have a good time with it. And have some fun. Have, you know, the creativity and, and everything is, it's a dream come true for me. This is, I don't want to work anywhere else to tell you the truth. Aww. So, I'm well, good for you. And I'm sure Tim would be happy to hear that too because he has nothing but good things to say about He's you. He's heard that. And I've eaten here many times, whether it's been um, just to come in for some appetizers and a few drinks. Um, to have lunch with friends and even dinner. I mean, it's it's an amazing place to be. You can pretty much be here all day long oh, absolutely. Um, and enjoy yourself <laughs> as long as you're not doing a little too much. Um, but, you know, thank you so much for the interview. I, I hope that everyone comes out and tries her amazing food. And as you can see behind us, this place is just the place to be. So come and check it out for yourself. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you. Very, thank, thank you very much. Our next dish is our classic fish and chips. It's a harp battered fish and chips made of Atlantic cod that we get flown in every day. Every Irish pub in Ireland features fish and chips. We do a wonderful job with ours. We have happy hour between three and six o'clock from Sunday night through Thursday. Monday night, we just started a dart league. So any dart players are welcome to come out and give it a try. Wednesday night is still our trivia night. We've been doing that for about a year and a half. That's very popular. Thursday night is karaoke night. Friday and Saturday night, we either have a live band or a DJ every Friday, Saturday night. Well, this is a really nice room. So what do you have here? This is our fireplace snug, added by the fireplace. Okay, and it's a snug? What? A snug is a term that Irish pubs use in Ireland for okay. the little tucked away area. Oh, and we saw this so almost every Irish pub we went to in Ireland, they have a fireplace because a lot of them used to be homes. Right. And the weather is pretty chilly over there, so a lot of them have the uh, fireplace just to keep everybody warm. And I like that, the fireplace snug. Very nice. And so if there's anybody out there during the winter months that wants to come and enjoy themselves here and have a nice dinner in the fireplace snug room, that would be a really great idea. Now, um, I want to go ahead and close out by letting our viewers know, you know where they can come and visit you at and, of course, what your website address is. Okay. Yeah, we're Rooney's Irish Pub. We're an old orchid. Uh, we're pretty easy to find. We're 241 South Broadway Street, an old orchid. And our uh, website is rooneysirishpub.com. And I can't encourage you enough to really get out here, experience this place for yourself. I've never seen any other Irish pub like it on the Central Coast. So be sure to get out here and check it out for yourself. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for coming out with Thank us. you I very much. It. You too. Thank you. Hi, and so welcome back, viewers. I'm very happy to be here back again at Old Town Market in Old Town Orchid here with Mark Steller. And for those of you that saw the last segment that we had on the air, and I had quite a few of you come to me and tell me that you came to support Mark at Old Town Market, and we greatly appreciate that. So we wanted to come back and find out what we have new here at Old Town Market now that we're probably about a year later, I want to say. Thank you, Val. You know, it has been almost exactly a year when I think about it because it was right around the Halloween season, and, and we were coming into our, our big sausage pairing party that you were taking yeah. part of. And in fact, f sorry, folks, you just missed the second one, but it was scrumptious, Cayucas sausage we're going to carry in the store it will be exciting to see. But um, a lot of things going on here at the market, a lot of things going on in Orchid. Um, our Pinot party is coming up, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But the wine, the food, the fun is what we're about here at Old Town Market. 
you know, over the years, our, our, we had a reputation for being a great place to buy wine and a great place to drink wine. And I had customers tell me, Mark, why don't you have a wine club? So I took that to heart, and, and I created a wine club. This is our second, second feature of the wine club in this basket here. And then this is six local wines, very small production. As an example, this Pace Winery is literally grown in a fellow's in San Inez's backyard. He makes 50 cases. It's about two barrels of wine. And you're not going to find this on a shelf anywhere. But you can find this in our wine club. And, you know, names like Kenneth Volk, you all probably know. Right, right. Uh, River, River Red by Rancho Sisquoc. These wines, if you went around the county buying them, would probably cost you $180. But our wine club is 95 bucks. Do it twice a year, the end of uh, summer and the beginning of uh, winter. I also want to get into what you have new here since um, I, I haven't been here for about a year. Yeah, we do have some new things. I mean, along with you, you get new products in stores all the time. Our wine selection is always changing. Oh, we've, we've got at least 20 new wineries since last we spoke. Craft beer section has just gone crazy. We do some beers that are just, you know, out of this world. You're not going to find them anywhere else. They're from Alaska, Oklahoma, Oregon. Um, Arkansas. You can find them right here in your, your old town market. So one of the items, Valerie, you even tried a little while ago is the Rosa Brothers milk. It's a local dairy fresh milk and it's absolutely delicious. They come in the old glass bottles that you remember as a kid maybe. And uh, what did you think of the 50-50 orange? I thought that's exactly what it tasted like. The 50-50 like well the creamsicle is what I think about and that's that was my favorite ice cream so <laughs> if I could drink it it makes it that much better. <laughs> And there's like the whole milk and, and you know, the 2% milk, chocolate milk, root beer flavor, and it's all just really delicious. And you could pretty much only get it here, right? Old Town Market. Only place in town I know of. Okay. So if you've seen this segment before, you saw my beautiful wife in the back showing all of our antiques back there. Mm -hmm. Well, now she actually has a full-fledged antique mall on the other side of town, Deja Vu Antiques. And uh, it affords me some more room, so I'm, I'm sure you'll see more wine from us here in the future. We do cheese and cracker trays, we do meat trays, we do, we do deli trays with sandwiches. Um, every, every Saturday we do fresh tri-tip. You can take a platter of tri-tip sandwiches home, a price you won't find anywhere else. Yeah. Well, a lot of people know that we sell t-shirts and pullover hoodies that are all about Old Orchid. And people love that because you can't find them anywhere. But with Wendy now owning the Deja Vu at the loading dock, there's an old truck that Danny George has made into this beautiful botanical garden basically and that truck is going to be on a t-shirt before Christmas that you can buy for your loved ones or yourself or someone who wishes they lived in Orchid. Yeah. And then there's one other great thing that we are offering to you the viewers only here from Old Town Market. Well we do uh, dryish fresh scoop ice cream here, we do banana splits and malts and all that stuff but you mentioned this ad to our uh, deli girl and she'll give you a buy one get one free single scoop. Here at Old Town Market, it, again, it's not your average market. They have wine tasting events here. They have the, the beer and sausage event that they do. And I think what's exciting for most is our, our Pinot party. Mm -hmm. That's December 14th. You'll have as many as 12 winemakers here pouring their wine. And I would say you get to sample about 45 different Pinot Noir varietals, all from Santa Maria Valley, Santa Rita Hills, Santa Barbara County. Mm -hmm. The best Pinot Noir in the world as far as I'm concerned. And if um, the viewers are interested in learning, you know, more about what you have here to offer at Old Town Market, or maybe they don't know the exact date of one of the upcoming events, um, where can they go to find out more information? You can go to a couple places. We have a website, oldtownmarket.net, and just go under wine tasting, and it'll show you the events that we have. We also have Facebook Old Town Market, and there's a couple of great um, old orchid sites. There's uh, Shop Old Town Orchid, mm -hmm. and there's oldtownorchid.org. So it's a great partnership, and I encourage everyone, again, to come out to Old Town Orchid, bring the family, bring your friends. It's sure to be a good time. So here we are at Deja Vu Antiques here at the Loading Dock, and we were just talking about this with Mark at Old Town Market. And we have Wendy Steller here, and you had your little place back there for some time, I know, and now 
you've built this. I mean, it's an amazing place. It's huge. It's your passion. It's your dream. We all know it is. So why don't you tell our viewers a little bit more about what we're going to see here today? Well, um, here at Deja Vu Antique Mall, we have over 30 different dealers um, that carry antiques, uh, vintage, um, a little bit of new so that we can have a little bit of gifty um, items for your Christmas shopping. Uh, so basically, we have something for everybody. Um, it's very diverse. Very good. And this is the big trend nowadays. I mean, this is antique, vintage. That's something that you see all of us ladies dying for. Um, if we don't know about it, we want to know more about it. And I'm sure within these walls that, like you said, having a little bit of everything for everyone and you can kind of help people even if they're looking for something specific. Is that right? Absolutely. Um, I'm finding more and more that people are appreciating uh, the vintage and the antiques. And then they're also appreciating repurposing um, different things. This is one of my favorite um, dealers. Her name is Melissa Blue. And if you like that Parisian French look, Melissa has definitely the look that you want. A lot of people will come in and they'll see this setup and that's exactly what they'll want in our, their house. So sometimes I even call her an interior decorator. I have dealers from all over the Central Coast. I have some right here from Orchid, uh, Napomo, Arroyo Grande. Uh, so it makes it really nice for them because they can come in at least once a week to spruce up their booth. If they sell a big item, I can get them right in here to put a new item in. And it's like Christmas when they come in because they bring in some just a new amazing things. Um, Cindy Devers is one of my artists and, and um, antique dealers. She can take a dresser and turn it into a work of art. Um, she makes the most beautiful wire flowers and, and just has a ton of great ideas for gift giving. Another one of our um, antique dealers is Orly. Um, her booth is the true meaning of shabby chic princess. So here we are, Wendy, and you're part of the store. You want to tell our viewers a little bit more about what you're featuring here and your style? You know, I like a lot of everything. If you walk into my home, I have mahogany, walnut, shabby chic. I don't think that there's any one style. I think that you can mix everything, and that's why I like to feature a little bit of everything in my booth so that a person can see that you can mix things and make it look beautiful. So you have something unique here that you want to tell our viewers about. Yes, we carry um, Chateau chalk paint, which is really exciting because if you see something here at Deja Vu that's just not the right color, I can sell you the right color. With the Chateau chalk paint, we are one of the only locations that you can get this on the Central Coast. And it comes in over 35 to 40 colors and two different sizes of paint. You can get the trial size and you can get the full size. And oh my gosh, Valerie, it goes so far. You can get a lot of pieces painted with this can. So thank you so much, Wendy, for having me and the viewers along with you here today at Deja Vu Antique Mall in Old Town Orchid. This place is amazing. I can't say enough about it. You have to definitely come out here, check this place out. You'll really learn to appreciate everything that they have to offer. You've got some very talented people here in this room. And how can our viewers find out more about Deja Vu or where to come? Well, we do have a website. I definitely um, encourage you to visit. And we do have a Facebook page. And we are located in Old Orchid at 315 South Broadway Street. We are only closed on Tuesdays. We are open uh, during the week, Monday to Saturday from 10 to 530 and Sunday 10 to 4. So please come on over to Deja Vu Antique Mall at the Loading Dock and come and see all the amazing things we have to offer. Noble Productions and Central Coast Now Television brings you Live, Think, Buy, Local, a small business marketing campaign and television show. These are the facts. Internet purchases only give back 1% to the community. Chain store purchases give back 13% to the community. Purchases made in local stores give back 43% to the community. Purchases made in local stores give back up to four times more to the community versus purchases made at a chain store. Buying local is giving back to the community. It's helping your neighbor, your family, your friends. Buying local reduces environmental impact and of course encourages local prosperity and so much more. 
business owners interested in joining Live Think Buy Local, please contact Valerie at Noble Productions at 260-4766 and like Live Think Buy Local on Facebook. Why can't we shop our way to a better local community? Thank you very much. I'm so happy to be back and bringing the viewers along with me, of course. We're going to try some of your wines and you're going to tell us a little bit more about your wines because they're really great if you haven't tried them yet. Um, and the other thing is just kind of, you know, tell us what brought you to Orchid and tell us a little bit about the history of the company and we'll just have some fun, right? Sounds great. Okay, great Let, yes. let's do it. Come on in. I've been a member since the first day they opened which was the 10th of December last year. Uh, we got in here probably an hour after they opened the doors and discovered this uh, wine tasting room and their wines, and we're quite amazed and still are amazed with the wines that are coming out. And the new releases are absolutely incredible. <laughs> Great, thank you. You want to tell the viewers a little bit more about the history and, and what brought you to Orchid? Yes, I'm a third generation grape grower from the Fresno area and I moved here in 1997 and started working for some of the local vineyards here in Santa Maria. And uh, in 2007, we decided to start making our own wine and we were looking for a place to, uh, to sell our wine and we decided to open a retail place here in Old Orchid. And so it's great to be part of the Old Orchid community. I've been a member since then the early days. My fiance is an avid wine drinker and this was the first wine that I found that let me like wine. So I've been, we may became members after the first tasting. One of the things I was going to ask you about, you know, when speaking with Ben, you know, he told me a little bit about his background and how you guys started here and you guys actually complement each other. You want to tell me a little bit more about how that works? Yes, we do. Um, of course, I'm a local. I was born and raised in San Maria and uh, I'm a farm labor contractor for over 25 years. Okay, so now that makes sense. And so we got to, together over 12 years ago. And then we decided to do this. Very nice. So uh, we do work together, not just during the day, but in the evening also here. Wow. We have entertainment three or four times a week. We have, we have open mic on Wednesday night. We have uh, ladies night on Friday night. Nice. Music on Saturday and Sunday also. Very good. Uh, I'm in the Air Force. I moved here a couple months ago and uh, became a, a member a couple months ago. Uh, love the wine here, love the reds, but I'll tell you what, what makes me the most happy about this place is that Ben and Lucy, it's a family place, it makes me happy when I'm here, and I'm glad to be a member, thank you. Of course, it's not just a tasting room where you have to stand around the bar. Exactly. There's a seating. Exactly, and that's what I was talking to Ben about, and as the viewers can see behind us, and even earlier, there's a lot of seating, there's tables, you can order a bottle of wine, you can sit down, you can have some fun with some friends. So you, you can come here and know that you can stick around for a while and enjoy that entertainment because that's also a really big part of it. So. I drove out all the way from Orange County just tonight to be here and I am going to be the newest member of Thank you very much. Okay, you two. Well, thank you so much. This has been great. We've had a great time. And we're going to have to say goodbye to the viewers. But before we do that, why don't you guys tell them where you're located, what your hours of operation are, and maybe your website. We're uh, in Old Orchid. Our address here is 125 East Park in Old Town Orchid. And our hours are 12 noon to 8 o'clock p.m., seven days a week. All right, well, we will see you later. I'm going to hang out for a while. Cheers. Cheers. Yummy. So here we are at Doc Bernstein's and it smells amazing in here. I'm not quite sure what that is, but we're going to find out. 
Hey there. Hi, Mallory. Hi, Good Greg. To see you, again. you too. How Welcome. are you? Thank Doing you great. so much. We are at your new location here in Orchid. And I was just mentioning that I smell something really yummy in uh, here. We're making some fresh baked waffle cones, and okay. today we're making the chocolate waffle cones. Oh, it so it does smell so like a fresh good. baked brownie. Too bad you don't have smell o vision, but believe me, it smells great that. in here. So tell me a little bit about the new location. Well, we opened in February of 2012 okay. after nine years in Arroyo Grande. Uh, we're still serving the same ice creams we have in Arroyo Grande. They're all made uh, handcrafted in Arroyo Grande, and we bring them up here. Uh, Old Town Orchids fits so well with our theme and our image. You know, we're a small town ice cream shop, kind of a place where the community wants to be uh, hanging out. So Old Town is a great place for us to be. And I agree. I couldn't agree more. This place is growing and it looks really great around here. There's so many different shops, but getting back to the good stuff, the ice cream. Tell me a little bit more about Doc Bernstein's and what you're well known for. Maybe some of the, the flavors that our viewers might be interested in coming in and trying. Very We've even good. created a special flavor just for Orchid. We're calling it Orchid Crunch. Oh, wow, it's really? Chocolate covered toffee bits, pralines, chocolate chips, Ooh, caramel swirl, wow. all in a marshmallow ice cream. That it sounds great. Well, we're going to have to check that out. I might even have to try that a little bit later, I think. <laughs> So we are going to have some fun here very we soon, right? We're going to have a party. We have a birthday party that's okay. going on in the back, so we're going to be able to check that out. Nice. And we even have a field trip after that, so you can watch what we oh, do goodness. with the kids during good, the field good, trips. Good. So for those parents out there, if you have little ones, you got to stay tuned and check this out because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of fun stuff going on and a lot of great sweet treats, right? Indeed. Okay, perfect. Let's right, go. Let's go eat. We've got a birthday in the house today. It's Walter's birthday. And we just want to all sing them the birthday song. Can you all help us out? Have a happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Walter. Happy birthday to you. All right. And the chocolate waffle cone is like eating a fresh baked brownie with your ice cream. So we're making them fresh every day here at Doc Bernstein's. Today we're making some chocolate waffle cones, but we also have vanilla waffle cones and waffle bowls. So if you really want to treat yourself, the ice cream is just not any better than when it's in a waffle cone. And as we're about to bring it out, we take the warm waffle before it forms up, drop it into our spinner, and using the same technique that was invented at the World's Fair in 1903, we're making a fresh baked waffle cone. Happy birthday, dear Crystal. Happy birthday to you. Yay! What do you think of that? That's awesome. Everyday thing now. <laughs> okay, well that was some good stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> well, you know, very few people have had to taste all 34 flavors before deciding. Well, what can I say? I'm not you know? surprised you settled on York and Crunch, <laughs> our signature flavor here for this location. And this is great, actually. Everybody needs to come out here and try it for themselves because I'm going to definitely finish this entire thing, but you're not going to be able to see it on camera. Um, so thank you again. And if you want to go ahead and close and offer our, our viewers something special. Well, you know, if you mention this commercial that you've seen it, be sure to say you saw it on Central Coast Now, and we'll give you 10% off your disc on your ticket for the night. So come on down and enjoy some great ice cream. And be sure to ask for the chocolate waffle cone. It's the best. <laughs> Feel it and